Hey crafty cuties and welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. I'm really excited to show you the largest journal that I've ever made, my Tim Holtz journal. I did a complete process video on this. It's like five parts, so if you want to see that, um, I'll have it linked below, but we're going to flip through. This is going to take a while. I only have one of these journals available, and so I'm trying something new. I've seen a few other journal makers do this, and it's going to be available on eBay. Um, it's going to be kind of a bidding system. I am, just keep in mind, I am going to have the starting price be pretty close to what I would normally sell something like this. I mean, I did put a lot of my time and energy into it, and there are a ton of Tim Holtz products. Like, basically the whole entire, entire journal is Tim Holtz. So keep that in mind. The starting price is what I would normally sell something like this for, but I, since I only have one, I kind of wanted to give this system a try. I'm going to have all the information for that down below because I do want to get into it because I think a lot of you might just also want to see the final journal. So let's go. I just have it tied closed. It is packed. You can take a lot of the stuff that's in here out and change it out for like your own item. So keep that in mind. So this is a fabric hard cover journal. Try to give you a good close up view. Here's all of the signatures sewn in. I did obviously add a tassel and I went ahead and did like my normal style, like I would have done a couple years ago, a uh, tassel. It's full of tons of trims and laces and Tim Holtz um, charms and beads and lots of bells and little mushrooms and just like fun things throughout. And I love creating the style of tassel. So I felt like I had to do the classic Jessica Tassel. I love this part down here, how it has this little ticket. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. You can take the tassel off as well. It is removable. So I'm going to start over here on this side and I'm going to try to kind of show you everything, but keep in mind, there are a lot of things filled within pockets and envelopes. So I'm not going to show every single thing because I want the, some things to be a surprise, but we have this nice pocket here that has this little scrappy pad and then this lifts up here and down here we have a side pocket with some vintage math paper up here we have this fun little side pocket I have some vintage uh, wallpaper in there and then when you open it up again over here we have this fun little envelope folio and then behind that, we have a large pocket and I just have a Tim Holtz journal card with some Tim Holtz fabric as a tab. So over here, these are the two signatures that are full of like Tim Holtz paper and like fabrics and coffee dyed papers. These are the two signatures that I did not decorate. I wanted you to have something completely blank, a blank canvas that you could start with um, on your own but everything else is completely decorated. So here we have a folio envelope. You can open it up with this here and I have some wallpaper in there. And then you open up this folder and you have a double pocket with some fun little items in here. My dog, well, we're just gonna keep going. This is where you get into all of the sewn in signatures. So let's actually head over to this side first and then we'll go through all of the signatures, but this panel over here has like a triple pocket. It's a vellum pocket. I have some de a decorated um, coin envelope, some Tim Holtz tags and wallpaper, embossed wallpaper, a double pocket. This is one of my favorite little pockets. And again, Tim Holtz um, tags. And then you have a big spot for a little tuck away there. Okay, so let's go ahead now and get into all of the signatures. I think there's eight. I wasn't sure how many I was going to be able to add, but this um, has just tons of fun things in here. You have this fun wallpaper envelope, and I do have that in this little lace pocket, but I also have a little clip here. I have a lot of things clipped in. So again, you can take things out, move them around, make it, make it your own. One of these Tim Holtz tags in this fabric pocket. This is Tim Holtz fabric. I'm telling you, it's like totally Tim Holtz. 
a decorated tag here with a tuck spot, tracing paper with a little tuck spot. Over here you have an envelope and I have more wallpaper and then a little tuck spot on this side. There's lots of stamping. I'll probably have to go a little faster, but a wallpaper envelope right here. Tons, you'll see lots of lace sewn on. Lots of vellum, embossed paper, trims. I would say almost every pocket has something in it. There's lots of um, vintage things in here as well. Tabs on the sides, um, collage envelopes. There is really so much room that you can journal. This is one of these little tags, a tag booklet that opens up. Vintage paper, lots of tabs, another double pocket. I did a lot of my like favorite things that I've done over the years. So I feel like this journal really, really captures just all of my favorite things in one. Lots of tuck spots and vellum papers and coffee dyed papers. I would say every page has some kind of detail, even if you have some blank space, but I wanna keep blank space for you guys so that you can do something with it, of course. I love this pocket right here. It's just a little collage wallpaper pocket. And then you have this little wallpaper journal card with really pretty lace, decorated uh, glassine bags, lots of tabs. There's some goodies in this right here, a fun little Edith Holden pocket. And you could like put pictures down here or something like that. There's stenciling, Tim Holtz vellum pocket, this scrappy pad again. This is a really fun little like trio pocket with a little fold down. You can take this out and honestly use that on its own or keep it in the journal, just depending. Fun little things clipped on as well. This was like the most fun I've had making a journal in such a long time. I don't get a lot of time to make these kinds of journals anymore. There's things clipped on with little Tim Holtz clips as well. But yeah, so it was just so much fun to make and I just feel like yeah, I've said it so many times, but it totally just envelops everything that I love about journals. Lots of fun, interactive pieces and spots to hide things away. There we go. And then it just kind of folds up like that. And then over here like that. And I mean, even though it's full, everything really, it does fit in. And like I said, there's so many things that you can remove or take away and you can add your own things. And I hope that you guys love it. I hope you loved this series. It was the main reason why I wanted to film this, but I also am excited for someone to um, buy this journal and make it their own. And again, I'll have all of that information down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.